Welcome to a track by track, Carl and Brendan here. We're looking at what is considered a, I don't know, a classic new metal album, at least in the eyes of uh, that sort of area. The timing, I think, more than anything else, is Stag X's Machine. Not the, not the only like big hitter, but the most popular one. It came yeah. at that time. That release time was just bang on for it, really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That's exactly what it was, wasn't it? It was a timing thing. Because actually, I think if you were to release this at a different time, you might argue that it's industrial and not new. Interesting you say that. Certain, yeah. This has been quite a few years since I've listened to this album. I know some of the songs really well. That's why. And that's exactly why I made the comment because when I listened back to it, and now because new metal's not really a thing anymore, and I thought well, if this came out now, we wouldn't class it as new metal. We class no. it as industrial. Very much so. Very yeah. much so. So it goes back to like, and I know I said in the previous past the class podcast, new metal wasn't a real thing. It was just a time point in time. Yes, it wasn't a musical style. It was just if an album came out in that period, they called it new metal. Pretty much, yeah. Applied you to know? quite a lot of it as well. Yeah. But yeah. So. Yeah, so this, this for me was probably the one of the easier ones I've had to write. Yeah. Um, actually, because I, sometimes when we've done them in the past, when we've done like a classic album, even though you don't like a song, you can be appreciate the fact it's a classic. Mm. So you kind of maybe be a little bit more, not you don't lie, but you're more positive about it because you appreciate it. Yes. Even without loving it. That's true. Whereas with this one, I think, um, you know, for me, never really been a big Static X fan. Not enough about them. Never really cared for the bands. Never really liked a lot of the songs. Never really liked this album. So you know, so so yeah, it'd be an interesting one. We've got some good comments on it. Cool, right? So, well, it opens with um, "Bien Vien Vendos Vien Dios." Mm. It's um, an intro, a pointless intro too. Like, yeah, my exact words: pointless little intro. Like, what the fuck's the point of it? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think it had a point, but but it, a pointless point. If that makes sense. <laughs> okay. It, it exists purely to lull you in for the start of the next song. That's true, because it the comes only... out of nowhere. That's the only, the only reason I could think for it because it doesn't mean anything. Even in the context of the album, mm. it doesn't fit in anywhere. It's just like, oh, let's get them listening to this weird little melody and then ah, have that. Yeah, because it literally does exactly that. Yeah. Get to the gone um, comes, there's there's no silence. It goes intro to this. They yeah. must have worked hard to make sure that it tied it so yeah. tightly together. Um, I'm actually a real big fan of this track. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, I, I, lo I love the way, I love, this is um, my kind of jam when it comes to Static X. Um, it's just relentless, and I think Wayne Stack's so on fire here. He's got a unique vocal vocal style in how he sort of. And I can remember him in videos and stuff, his twitches and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, I really like this song. You don't like it? I'll tell you what I don't like about it. Go on. And it's it's a stupid reason not to. I I, I actually do like this song, mm. but what I don't like about it, and I've never liked about it, the song's name. I hate the song's name. Get to Get the gone. Get to the gone. The fuck does that? Even mean? <laughs> and that's what I wrote down. I hate this song's name. I remember hating it when it came out, and I forgot about it. And now I'm just reading its name again. I remember hating it again. So thanks for that. And then I wrote, but I do like the song though. Yeah, fast, aggressive, full of power and rage. Even if it has a dumb name. Okay, that's good. I don't know why. You know, sometimes things just don't work for you, man. And I've always, I remember, I, weirdly listening back to this machine, you do get memories back. You're like, oh, I remember listening to this back in whatever, 2001, 2000, yeah, 2001. And you think, and then I listened to it, and the minute it came on, I was like, oh, I remember hating this yeah. fucking name. And it said a fair few times. Get to the, yeah. Like, Where is the gong? <laughs> what is the gong? Is yeah. It? Maybe it was gong and they just misspelled yeah. it. Get to the gong. <laughs> You're chasing the gong. <laughs> uh, per per permanence? Too synthy. Way, especially at the start. It settles into a decent riff. Mm. But at the beginning, it's really synth heavy, man. Uh, chorus is as basic as fuck. Just repeating permanence, it's yep. permanence over and over and over again. His vocals are decent, but it's not particularly exciting. So this is where you uh, said at the start about industrial. Yeah. I can't say this is where I started getting. Oh my god! This I started getting like weird Fear Factory vibes. Well, yeah, I get it with some of the riffs, but not the synth. The synth no, get the more synth. of a Ministry sort of vibe. Yeah, that's good actually. Yeah, I like that. You know yeah, what I mean, which is industrial still. Don't get me wrong, mm. but I guess when I say I like industrial, I like the Fear Factory end of industrial. Yeah, yeah, more, the, more than the Ministry. End. The meat your stuff. I kind of agree with you on it. It's yeah. um, the track doesn't really go anywhere interesting. It's got like meat and the bones, but it's really stringy and fatty that kind of stuff. Um, black and white. It's it's the big hitter. It's so radio friendly. It's almost painful how radio yeah. friendly <laughs> it is. Um, 
it's very simple, a very simple track. However, it's a well put together track and the chorus is catchy as fuck. Yeah, I did I similar. I mean, I, I, wrote, I wrote down Wild Blast from the past. Yeah. Good song, <laughs> good riff, catchy vocals in the verse and a really good chorus. Even if the chorus makes no sense lyrically. <laughs> okay. That's a album. common theme throughout this album though, yeah. It, losing your mind, losing your mind, it's blurring, it's fading. And then it goes to your, my soul, your soul's, soul's on fire. On it's black and white. It's bla- yeah. Why, why is it black and white? <laughs> it's on fire. God, that's good. I like that. Um, this is not, uh, this is again, the Static X I really enjoyed. The balls to the walls craziness. It's weird as fuck. It's fast. Um, and it's one of those where Wade Static, again, to me, pros, he can really burn the house down when he does shit like this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I actually, I really like this one. Oh, cool. I wrote Wicked, Bouncy Riff. One of my favourite songs in the album, actually, which is weird considering I didn't remember it until listening back to it. Mm. <laughs> I hate that! Um, drums are great, vocal lyrics, loads of aggression, good song. Yep. Uh, Astegio Undead. Um, this is another one where I actually wrote, I, I can't believe Fear Factory didn't sue them for plagiarism at this stage. Um, I, generally something I can't believe I never noticed before. But I don't know if it's because um, of more modern Fear Factory, like, you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah, the industrial is strong in this one. Yeah, 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 it is. Uh, I, I, I really don't like this song. Yeah, it's really nothing don't. special. All right, it's too synthy by far. I don't really get the song. Lyrically, it makes no sense. I get I read it up a little bit because I was trying to make sense of it. Mm. Uh, Otsego is a town in Michigan, which I believe is where they came from. Oh, okay. Um, and then I wrote, probably not going to go down well with Static X fans here, but uh, Baby Metal Riffs and Electronica for Days, one to avoid. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think it's fair. I think it's fair. Um, but weird enough, again... Followed by another famous Static X song, Cold. Yeah. Um, it's a banger. And I had this really cool video back in the day that was like Vampires. Do you remember that? Yeah, because it was um, used on that Jonathan Davis film. What was the film? The Vampires one. Like the kind of interview with the vampire sequel that wasn't. But it oh, was like um, Queen of the Damned. Queen of the Damned. Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah. Um, but one thing I would say about Cold is very reminiscent of the era it came out in. In that, like, the new metal kind of thing where it's a little bit sexy, a little bit cool. Very heavy, but really fucking simple. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I wrote a good song. Probably actually my favourite Static X song. It's weirdly. Th- yeah. Um, I love the haunting keys. Uh, mm. the, 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 the kind of over the riff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, sinister verses, epic choruses. And then I wrote this a very strong industrial metal song. Yeah. It's weird that we both yeah. got more, way more of an industrial vibe this time round than yeah, we did when we first yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, I would have done the same as everyone. I would have been like, I was a new metal band. Yeah. Um, this starts. This next part sort of starts part of the album that I'm the least familiar with. Uh, structural, structural defect. Um, again, I put Fear Factor relation in regards to guitar chug this time. Yeah. Uh, but it's more short lived here. I sort of put. Um, I was struggled to get into this one. Yeah, I, I didn't mind it. Uh, good riff, loads of bass, solid drums. Bit messy when it kicks in, though. Okay. Um, enjoyable enough. Very, very typical of the era, though. Especially yeah. Especially vocally. <laughs> Such a thing. Yeah. Um, in a bag, the vocals are the star of the show here, um, but the guitars are really repetitive. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I wrote, it's a good intro, and I do like the chug on the guitars at the beginning, mm. but it gets very fuzzy in parts, and it's not very pleasing to listen to. Okay, yeah. Like, you know, it's almost too fuzzy. Um, so it's okay. It's a bit of a filler track. Um, Burn to Burn the album for me really goes off the rails here uh, this one of them being utterly forgettable it's got some added electronic hat, uh, in the latter half that does nothing for me at all and is way too fucking long yeah I wrote so I quite like the riff and the vocals in the verse mm. until the shouts of Burn to Burn right okay wrote, yeah whoever it is who's doing that sounds like he's halfway through a spoon of mashed potato <laughs> you know like your mouth's half full you go burn burn <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. That's good, actually. Like peanut then, butter stuck to the yeah, roof of the mouth or something. I ended with instrumental section gets way too trancy for me, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the part I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the title track, Machine. It does a decent job of trying to rescue things in that. It's quite, uh, it's quite moody and dark, and I like the industrial heaviness to this one. Yeah, I, I pointed out the industrial as well. Yeah, very industrial start. Good drums, a bit of a chug on the guitar. I actually thought it started off very Manson. 
Manson okay. the vocals and the music at the beginning. Mm, yeah, it actually even sounds like Manson a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because it's really low as yeah. well. It's a bit different, which makes it interesting, but I wouldn't and didn't replay this much. It's not really my thing. Even more so confirmed when we hit that weird almost dance beat. Mm, yeah. And last but not least, a an outro. I don't care if it's four minutes long. It's a fucking outro. <laughs> Adios, a, Alma Padida. Yeah, like, I, I, I was waiting for this to go somewhere. Mm. And then I was like, wait a minute, this is just a fucking really long outro. That's all it is. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I like to do, I, I, I go a bit too much on my comments sometimes. Yeah. So I wrote, for an ending track to an album, it's shocking. Yeah. Uh, quite dark and atmospheric. And there is a point where I think I might be enjoying it. And then I get two minutes in before I change my mind completely <laughs> and I've had heard more than enough of it. <laughs> Despite being six minutes long, the final two are just a single hanging note or some weird kind of warbly yep. effect. Uh, not good, boring, pointless. But, but exactly like the start, utterly pointless. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really weird ending, man. Why don't I just end with Machine? It's not that I loved Machine, but you know, if you're going to end with a song, just end with a proper... Or if you're going to do an outro, you just do a minute of what you were doing in that. Yeah. At least that way it's an outro, not seem like a full fucking track. So what are the three best tracks of this album then, according to you? Three best tracks of this album, according to me, are Black and White, yep. Cold, mm. and what was the other one I like? This Is Not. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, slightly different. Get to the Gone, This Is Not, and Cold. I'd leave off uh, yeah, Black get, and White. Get to the Gone, I was alright with. But weirdly, outside of them, I didn't like anything else. Mm. Pretty much the that's same. The thing. I, you know, there were a couple that said, oh, the filler track, but like, I would never replay it. Yeah, yeah, because it's exactly you know I mean? that. It's not like filler, where I'd be happy to hear it again. It's filler, like, okay, I've heard that, don't need to hear that again. I'm yeah. Like, so actually, you know, you're right. It is, a, it is their biggest selling album. I remember reading that when I was doing the research on it. And I remember it being the one that probably propelled them more more so to fame than than any than the previous one. They, they had one album before it, didn't they? Um, yeah, God. What was, what yeah, it, yeah. But I had um, not, She's With Stupid. It's not a strong album. And the strange thing about this is this isn't me growing as a metal fan or, or becoming anything like that. Because I remember feeling similarly about it when it came out. Mm. I remember listening to it. And the songs that stuck in my mind were Black and White, Cold. Uh, and although I didn't remember it until I re-listened to it, Get to the Gone and This Is Not. Yeah. And everything else, I don't remember it. But listen to it, I hate it. And yeah. I wonder if that's why I don't remember it. Probably why, exactly yeah. that, yeah. There you go then, there's a the Static X machine. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you love it, let us know what you love about it. Hit that like and subscribe button and thanks for watching.